Welcome back to my bag weaving journey. This is part six in the series, and as you can see, I'm still weaving. You can see now more clearly the design of the bag, um, the purple, blue, and green uh, strips. And, and, and you can see on the top of the bag, which is technically the bottom of the bag, but on top you can see the twine sticking up. That's where I added the twine in the beginning. Um, you'll have those. Usually I try to weave them in while I'm weaving, uh, or you can just keep them on the outside so that you can retighten them as you use the bag, or you can just... Um, stick them inside, stick them inside the bag, um, and tie them off a bit more. Um, but they'll just, it'll be like that because you're adding the string using the square knots. Uh, as I was weaving, I was thinking about the flap and I might bring the colors into a V towards the middle and then just make a braid out of the yarn and use that as a way to secure the bag shut. You don't necessarily need a way to secure the bag shut. With the flap, it'll just stay shut on its own, um, but some people like to have their bags a little bit more secure. The majority of the bags that I have do not even have a flap. They're open on the top, and all of my things stay in my bag unless it's upside down, but it's just easier for me that way. Um, in the old days, we used these twine bags to store things, to gather food or, you know, hold whatever we needed. Um, and these days, they hold cell phones, keys, laptops, books. Sometimes I use it for going to rehearsal. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to give you um, some tips for while you are weaving because you will be sitting still for long periods of time. So I suggest that you, one, mentally prepare yourself for sitting in one spot for a long period of time. Also, you wanna make sure that you stretch your fingers and your wrists. You can just um, circle them, you know, at the wrist, at the joints, and just make sure you stretch your fingers by making a fist or and stretching them out as far as they go, fist, stretch them out. Um, and take breaks while you're weaving. If you get tired, if you get sore, be gentle with yourself and just stop and take a break. And you wanna make sure that you are sitting upright uh, because as you're weaving and you're trying to focus and learn, your body will scrouch down. Um, and so you just want to make sure that your spine is erect and you're sitting up straight. And trust me, it will save your back. Um, and I think that's it. As long as you have your snacks and your drinks nearby, you are ready to weave for as long as you need to. And like I said before, good luck. about an hour and 10 minutes, one session. <laughs>